Newly released 911 calls give us a better idea as to what happened after a woman drove off the Buckman Bridge. It's a story we brought you in February, and a, a good Samaritan rushed in to help her. Yeah, so news for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us now live this morning. Aaron, I know we've heard from this good Samaritan previously, but now we're getting new perspective about what happened. And we heard from, we heard two calls, but one of the callers actually saw the woman drive into the water and he stayed in, in contact with her, talked with her the whole time while she was in the water until she got help. Get out of the car! That's how a second 911 call started after the woman drove off the Buckman. The first words the dispatcher heard before managing to speak with the caller. I don't know what the hell she did. She would not... She's in the water. Florida Highway Patrol says the 20-year-old woman from St. Augustine was driving the wrong way on the Mandarin side of I-295 in the early morning of February 22nd. Trooper says she hit a guardrail. One caller saw the crash and the car flip off the bridge and into the water. This caller saw the woman get out of the car and kept in contact with her until she was safe. I'm in the car right now. Ma'am, are you injured? Her knee hurts. Johnny Glennon was in the right place at the right time. He helped the woman get to shore. I had her climb up on my back and then uh, like well, like walk back through the water, um, about chest high, and uh, like basically climb back out. Before first responders could get to her and treat her for her injuries. That woman was not seriously hurt, but since 1999, there were three other times when drivers drove off the Buckman Bridge, and in those situations, four people died. Reporting live, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.